Hello, everybody. It's a uh, new pen day. Well, actually, I've had this pen for a few days now, and I'm going to call this my anniversary pen. Uh, the month of February was the one year anniversary for my channel, and I hadn't actually picked up a pen. And around the time when I, you know, um, was the, the actual day of the anniversary, I came across this pen on eBay, and I was quite curious, and I've sort of... Um, like this uh, pen and I've seen it before and I've tried to win it in bids before and I hadn't but this time I did <laughs> and well here it is what is the pen you're wondering um it's when you look at it it's a, a plastic pen um very reminiscent say of the Pelican 12 Silvexa that I have or the even the Parker 45 that I that, that I have it's uh, a high quality resin or plastic pen, um, you know, gold uh, band, you know, a little trim right here. But what is the pen? Hmm. Well, there you go. <laughs> Most of you, when you see that, well, if you're into the pen world and you've studied pens, you'll know that little snow cap right there. And that is the Mont Blanc emblem. And well, this is an older pen from the late 60s or early 70s, and the model is the Mont Blanc 320. What is the 320? Well, oddly enough, um, you could almost say it's an introduct, it's a student pen or a entry level pen by Mont Blanc. I don't think they make them any, I don't think they make entry level pens anymore. <laughs> if you look at the design uh, history of Mont Blanc, Nowadays, they have the 149, 146, probably a few others. And um, what they are is very high-end luxury items, very expensive. Uh, but in the 60s, they started to modernize their design. Uh, the pens of the 50s, oddly enough, look very much like the pens of today. But in the 60s... Uh, they came up with a couple of new designs and they kept on refining that over a period and they had this pen, the 320, and it came with a steel nib and it came with a gold nib. This one has the gold nib. Um, it's a piston filler, a slip cap. Oops. And it's a little dirty there right at the moment. And it has this rather beautiful nib, almost... Almost actually reminiscent. There is a little bit of ink right there, but that's okay. Uh, almost reminiscent, say, of the Pilot E95S of today. Uh, but if you look through the design of that period, you know you will see this type type of nib on several different manufacturers. And I think probably they were taking the inspiration from Mont Blanc or Pelican, or each other. They were, they were shifting all back and forth. Someday I'll do a little video just showing some of the different um, trends of that period. So anyway, it's precious resin, I suppose. It's a piston filler. It has a little uh, ink window right here. I love ink windows. It's gold nib. Um, fine or extra fine. It actually writes a surprisingly fine line. Uh, gold band on the band. You can't really see it, but it says Mont Blanc, Germany, 320. Um, there's no real markings on the uh, clip. There's the little snow emblem. Now, I got this at a really good price. Um, I think what happened was the dealer had several Mont Blancs on, on, on auction at the time. And I had bid on one and then it went past the price I was willing to pay. And I noticed this one, and it was at the price I was willing to pay. It wasn't very much, actually. Um, and probably the reason is it's missing a little emblem right here at the end. As you can see, there's a little hole there. That's actually fairly common from, from this design period that they drop out. But it still has the emblem on the cap up here. And 
when I looked at the photo originally on the eBay seller, they did a really excellent job taking the photo. It was a very up close photo with the nib. And oddly enough, it looked a little damaged or a little worn. Um, probably because the, they zoomed in so close and they had such a high resolution photograph. And I was thinking I would probably have to, you know, do some work on the nib or replace the nib. But oddly enough, when I started writing with it, it's perfectly fine writer writer it's actually quite smooth very good flow um all kinds of uh, nice qualities really beautiful line really wet feed we're going to do a little writing sample the only thing really tech uh, right now quality or uh quality wise is the missing uh, uh snow cap on the bot the bottom Oddly enough, I actually knew where to go and find that. And I have ordered a replacement for it from a seller uh, in Japan, of course. <laughs> and um, when that arrives, I'm going to put it in this pen, on this pen. Um, and it's the right one, actually. It actually is compatible with this pen. Uh, like I said, it's a pull cap. And an extra fine nib, as you can see. Very fine point. Um, very fine line. I have inked it up with actually an ink that I'm becoming very fond of, <laughs> and that is uh, Waterman's um, Tender Purple. Very nice. Didn't think I would like it, but I do like the ink. Anyway, so as you can see, it doesn't have a lot of line variation, but it's, you know, it's a not an overly hard nib. I wouldn't push it by any means, but it has a beautiful fine line and a nice nice flow to it. It's actually fairly wet. <laughs> you want to see, I was just realizing as I'm noting, writing on this, this notebook with a Mont Blanc and I'm writing on a Pelican pad. No explosions have occurred yet, but we'll see. Anyway, so let's do a little writing sample. A quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Yeah. You can hear the nib. I like that. I like when you can hear the nib sometimes. It's kind of like, I don't know, ASMR or something. But anyway, it's not scratchy. But there is a little bit of feedback. Very fine line. And... I've been writing with this pen quite a bit in the last week, last couple of weeks. How long have I had it? A couple of weeks. And I haven't had to refill it. Um, it's a piston filler and it holds a fairly, fairly large amount of ink. <laughs> and it's quite nice. Now, of course, you know, it's a vintage pen. There's always a problem with vintage pens. You're going to have to, well, I shouldn't say that. There's always patina to vintage pens. There is a little bit of, of ink staining right there. Sometimes it, um, um, it burps a little bit or a little around the nib, there's a little bit of seepage. Perfectly fine. Doesn't actually get on my fingers. It doesn't really cause anything, any problems. You just see a little staining there. Um, but otherwise it's not leaky. Um, I've not had any problems with that. There's a few little micro scratches on the body. I've gave it a little run with uh some mic uh some pen gloss just to sh shine it up a bit and that brightened it up quite a bit the color is bordeaux um the 320 i believe came in a black and gold like the bordeaux color and also i could be wrong about this but it came in a dark green too i'll have to check that i think i uh, um i'll have to check that so anyway the number is 320 the next uh variation i believe is the 320p which oddly enough this is a piston filler 320p was a cartridge converter pen um so that's what the p stands for it's whatever cartridge converter is or cartridge or converter is in german i'm i forget the word right off hand if you know the word let me know uh what is cartridge or converter in german it starts with a p um the next one would be the, the 420, and there was a few other variations over the time. 
uh, a few different nib designs and section designs. And I got to be honest, I'm really attractive. I'm really attractive. I'm not really attractive. I'm quite grizzled and old looking. Um, I'm really attracted to these, this period, actually, the 60s and 70s. Um, there were some really beautiful pens made there. And they really, they're mod, they're, they're meant, they were meant to be modern looking, you know, uh, sleek and stylish. So you start off, say, with the Parker 45, then the Pelican had variations along the same lines and everything like that. The Parker, uh, the Pelican 12 Sildexa, which I had, was their first converter pen. Um, so there were, you know, uh, all kinds of manufacturers making pens of a similar design. You go into, say, Pilot and Sailor and Platinum, you're going to find variations on this design. And uh, they're beautiful. <laughs> and they're great writers. So yeah, I probably will keep my eye out for a couple other versions of this over time. As I say, sometimes when people start bidding, you have to be careful on eBay. You don't want to have yourself set yourself a price, what you're not going to go over. And when it does go over, go look for another one, right? But uh, I lucked out. And, you know, uh, I'm going to keep my eye out for some other eBay auctions, um, and maybe I'll get lucky again. You never know. But I think the next one would be a nice black and gold, say 420, or I believe in the 60s, the numbering system was Pelican, uh, uh, Mount Blanc, Mont Blanc, uh, 21 and 24. Anyway, I'll keep an eye out for all, all of those, um, that series. And maybe even I'll try to get a black version of the 320 or even a green version of the 320 if it, it occurs but those are long time goals you know <laughs> but anyway um i i'm very happy with the pen um i actually probably have to be honest i prefer this over the modern versions maybe i'm just saying that because i have it and, but i've never really been tempted to jump in say onto the high end uh, contemporary Montblanc pens, but I am very interested in the vintage ones. Anyway, let me know in the, in this, in the comments, um, do you have a Montblanc? Is, do you have a vintage one? Do you have a modern one? Are they worth the price? I think they are. They, they're beautiful pens, even the modern ones, even like they're beyond my means and, but they are beautiful. Um, and if you, I don't know, let me know what you have. And if you um, like the, the brand and what would you recommend from the vintage period that I should try to look for. And I hope you liked the video. Me rambling again on a sunny day. Um, and if you're new around here, uh, I invite you to subscribe. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, I appreciate that. All those things help the channel. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.